Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. It's square with the camera. Yeah, um, mass shootings. This white person, every news network covers it. Yeah. This white person, Democrats come out. The biggest threat to our country is white people. Now, all the smart people in this country know the biggest threat to this country is the Negro. I wouldn't say that. I mean, statistically, when it comes to crime. What did you say? It's a, thre- it's a, it's a bigger threat than white people. That's, that's a statistical fact, Keith. I know it hurts. You've been a Negro and all that. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm in Vegas and I'm betting on who's going to commit a crime, it's going to be the Negro. <laughs> and I'm, I'm betting all on black. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Betting all on black? It's good, right? Yeah, it's, it's good. That was good, too, man. Hey, um, so there was this mass shooting up in Chicago. And, um, yeah. And, and it's here. Check it out. Negroes gone wild. More life shed today on the horrific killing of eight people in Joliet. Yeah, police are retracing the path of the killer to his death in Texas. Nate Rogers has been tracking the tragedy in Will County from the beginning. Nate. We've been in contact with the victim's family members as well as their colleagues. Many still too distraught to speak on camera at this time. Pause we it. also now know for sure. That is a, put it back up. <laughs> that is a nice jacket. Yeah, he's a respectable Negro. But you know they're doing them wrong. Why you say that? Why are you gonna put somebody with African descent in, in 30 below zero? You know our bodies ain't made for that shit. Well, he did a job, I'm sure, so he's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep it going, but that's a nice jacket. Yeah, man. He look- the relation of those victims <laughs> to the suspect. He the Will County Corner identifying the victims <laughs> as the suspect's mother, 47-year-old Tamika Nance, his aunt, 38-year-old Christine Esters, who's a corrections officer at the Joliet Treatment Center, also killed 35-year-old William Esters, the suspect's uncle, also 31-year-old Joshua Nance, his brother who was bedridden. Finally, the suspect's three sisters, 20-year-old Alexandria Nance, 16-year-old Alana Nance, and 14-year-old Angel Nance, all shot to death. We can't get inside his head. Uh, we, we just don't have any uh, any clue as to why he did what he did. Police now believe the suspect, 23-year-old Romeo Nance, committed the Hayden's murders Sunday afternoon, then jumped on the road inside his red Toyota landing in Texas. <laughs> Police say Nance swapped his license plate with a stolen one before being chased by U.S. Marshals <laughs> at this service station in Natalia, Texas. Task Force officers with the United States Marshals Service uh, observed Mr. Nance armed with a firearm fleeing from the vehicle. Authorities say Nance eventually shot himself after a confrontation with police. Detectives went to his home here in the 2200 block of Acres Lane Monday, finding blood on the front door. Inside, two relatives were dead. At the family's second home, five others discovered murder. We do believe that the, the shootings at the 2200 block were the original shootings, and then the two random shootings took place shortly thereafter. Unrelated to this crime scene, Police say Nance, who has a criminal history, then allegedly killed 28-year-old Doyosi Bakari and shot a 42-year-old man, also in Joliet. During the course of this investigation, we determined that a 3-year-old boy was unaccounted for. And we quickly located that child with a relative in a nearby community. And as you can see, more than 24 hours after the start of this investigation, the crime scene still remains blocked off. We know that crisis intervention teams were out here throughout the day speaking with neighbors and with family members as well. Police also telling us they don't believe that the suspect had any association in Texas. That is the latest here in Joliet. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Nick Rogers, right here from Fox 42. I like that Negro. That Negro is sharp. What did you say? I said his name. What was his name? I forgot it already. I got Biden going. Hey, hey, go to, go to last Oh, Nick seconds. Rogers. Yeah. Nick Rogers. Uh, what? I said Nick Rogers. It's Nate Rogers. Nate Rogers. You see it? You dumb, blind Negro. Okay. Nate Rogers, Fox 32. <laughs> That's all I got. Nate Rogers from Fox 32. Oh, fuck it. Hey, Nate Rogers from Fox 32, and that's all I got. Signing off with this nice white jacket I got on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, really? fuck it. Yeah, that was a mugshot of him. Hey, come on. And he's man. smiling. And turns out this guy's got priors with guns. Yeah. It's you like, when, he, let me say this. You know what? Let me say this. Let me say this. If this was a white dude, oh, we got an active shooter. 
it had been all over the news. Right. And it will be plastic. Oh, another mass shoot. It, another uh, terrorist attack by a white man. But no, it's just black people killing each other when it comes to black people. They always say, no, black people, people uh, murder people who's in close vicinity of them. Yeah, that's true. I'm not doubting that fact. In proximity. That's a statistical then. fact. Yeah. In proximity. But, but show me a white Chicago. Show me a Chinese Baltimore. Yeah, but this is the thing. After he killed his whole family, practically, mm -hmm. he wouldn't find two perfectly nice white people to shoot. Yeah. One of them, both of them got away. They didn't. It was just injured. Well, I think one of them died. One of them just got shot in the leg. Yeah. That's crazy, man. <clears throat> but no coverage. No coverage, man. No coverage. Will Joe Biden talk about this? No. No. Nah. He don't want to hurt his black vote. And Republicans. Because when you, when you talk on this within the black community, oh, man, why you... Why are you disparaging the black community like that? Let us handle this on the inside. Let us black people take care of this. Black people ain't taking care of nothing. Black people believe in no snitching. Yeah, black people to mess this demographic people. It's just a different culture. Look at white culture. Yeah. You got Karen's. They will call the cops on you for selling a bottle of water or something yeah. without a license. They will call the cops on you Keep. if you ain't Keep. got a license to barbecue Keep. in the park. I embrace Karen's. Right, I will embrace a Karen enthusiastically Karen. because you know what? She's gonna be, she's gonna make me a better Negro. <laughs> she's gonna make me a better citizen. Karen. She's gonna turn me into a damn patriot. <laughs> Karen will call the damn association if you leave your trash cans out there. Yeah, Negroes, no snitch. I don't trust you, Whitey. Just two different cultures. Yeah, it's not the skin color. I want to say that it's not the skin color. It's, it's the culture. culture. Black people don't have a uh, a, D, a DNA that, that behaved this way. They've been taught this way. Conditioned. Conditioned. I like that. They've been breed to think this way. You They've know? been what? They've been breed. Bred. Conditioned. A, bread. That's, that's like a slice of bread. Breed. Oh, they've been bred. I mean, they've been grown up. That's just a, it's just a different... Um, it's just like... I can't believe like when you look at like a situation like... I don't know, no, don't say it, man. You got freedom of speech in this country, man. Don't say it. Like, <laughs> man. That's why I. Like, look, hold, shut up. No, 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 no. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That's why when I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That's I why when I see a Negro with braids, it's the first image that pops in my mind. Criminal. That's why I've been conditioned to think away, you know, because of our culture. Now, every time I see a dude wearing a hoodie, wearing braids, you know, that's why people uh, cross the other street. That's why women grab their purse. Man, he looks like that dude that took out his family. You know? Oh, man. That looks like that guy that was on TV. Well, black, black people do it, too. Oh, yeah. look. That's a white police officer. He don't yeah. like my kind. Yeah. But it's only racist. Right? When white people do it, when black people do it, it's justified. It's equality. It's equality. It's equity. Because they are inferior to the white man. What do you think they're inferior? Yeah, they are. Your ideas are inferior. No, they don't think they are inferior. No, their mindset, their culture. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're inferior. Their mindset, the way they Not see all of them. Stop generalizing all black people. Me and you fine. A majority of them. Because I know what's up. I'm I'm, I'm not all black. Half of me is white. Hey, Kevin, see, why do you say something like that? What do you mean? Won't you shut up? Like you got it. I'm spitting fox over here. But that has I no burn. I got European and Irish. That's why I'm the way I am. That has no burn I on your mindset, though. I got a nigga to me, and I got that white side. That white side. Don't do it, nigga. Don't do it. That's wrong. <laughs> Don't do it. That's the Negro thing to do. <laughs> I'm joking. Y'all know I'm joking, right? Black people don't think I'm joking. They can't take a joke. They can't take a joke. They can take a joke when it comes to white people. When as soon as you make a Negro joke, oh, man, that's racist. You know, like, they got this idea that mass shootings are only done by white people. It's always by a white person. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I grew up in a poor black neighborhood. As soon as I got me some money. I'm going to live by some white folk. <laughs> as soon as I got some money, I moved there. I said, look, they white. <laughs> Who's across the street? Another white person. Uh-oh, got some niggas moving in. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Kid, what's wrong with you? Time to pack our bag. <laughs> them, them, no, 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 look. Them, no, them. they Indian. They like Vivek. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey. 
Hey, uh, can I come over and have some curry chicken? <laughs> it's a damn good show. And I think it's one of our best. Hey, our giveaway is almost up. Giving away a Ford F-350 and 10,000 cash. But if you're in it right now, yeah. because it's last week, you get 10 times the entries. And not only that, what? if you're in it today, you get in it to win the F-250. Man, two trucks? Two man and trucks. And $10,000 in cash? Two brolic trucks for men with the power stroke. Go to FisherHawksTwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah.